Suriname's debt crisis is the result of a volatile combination of national debt governance and an international financial system that never works to the advantage of global South countries. And the IMF being the IMF agreed to help based on the classic IMF recipe of austerity. This sent Suriname into political, economic, and social chaos. As always, the price of debt is paid by the most vulnerable. A simple chicken egg now costs five times more than in 2020, and gas prices are up 600%. At the same time, the debt restructuring deals are particularly sweet for the private lenders who will receive more money through the new deals than with the original loan agreement. Even worse, they have laid claim to our future all revenues and will line their pockets with a staggering windfall. It is a new form of colonialism, using debt to gain access to our resources. I'm Sharda Ganga in Suriname.